One of the most common questions that I get asked about the Niebosch certificate is, is it hard? And to be honest, it's a very difficult question to answer because usually I don't know the person that's asking the question. I don't know anything about their personality, their background, their learning preferences, etc. So it's difficult to provide a meaningful answer that's tailored for that person. A rather theoretical way to look at the situation, at least for those of you in the UK, is to look at the appropriate qualifications framework and see where the NEBOSH certificate sits within that. And here we can see that the NEBOSH certificate is equivalent to an A-level in the UK. If you're outside of the UK, just use the equivalent qualification to an A-level for your country. But to be honest, I think it's doubtful that that analysis would really answer the question for you because there's probably been a lot of time, a lot of water under the bridge since you were a, a secondary school pupil. When I think back to my days in secondary school and my final exams, my perception back then was that the people that were sitting A-level exams they were, you know, the brainy ones. And after those exams, they were off to university. And to be able to even sit A-level exams, you had to have done well in the GCSEs. I didn't sit my A-level exams, so I don't have any first-hand experience and don't really know what A-level exams are actually like. And I only actually managed to get one GCSE result in the A to C bracket across the, I think it was nine GCSEs that I sat and, and the only one I got in the A to C bracket was a C in English. So for me at that time, the thought of even being able to sit an A-level exam was really non-existent. But when I eventually sat my NEBOSH certificate exams, uh, much later, at the age of 34, I'd obviously grown and developed as a person in that time. And by then, a comparison to secondary school qualifications was not really, um, it was no longer meaningful or useful as a comparison. The factor that had the biggest influence on whether the NEBOSH exams were hard can be summed up in one word, and that is motivation. Simply put, I really, really wanted to achieve this qualification. It was, thinking back to that time, it was September 2011. At the beginning of that month, I had been made redundant from my full-time job. In the middle of that month, I was in Cyprus getting married, which I mentioned because that put additional financial pressure on me and I had committed to those financial pressures before I learned that I was going to be being made redundant. So I was, I was tied into those financial obligations. And then at the end of that month in September, and it was literally the day after our last day on our honeymoon, I was due to attend a self-funded NEBOSH certificate course. Because what I decided to do is instead of going back, trying to get another full-time job, I decided to set up my own business, delivering training courses. and. The particular training course that I wanted to, live, to deliver at that time was the IOSH Managing Safely Certificate. I wanted to get a certificate, a qualification, at at least one level above the qualification that I would be delivering. And because I would be putting myself out there as the expert, I wanted to achieve that qualification, not just by the skin of my teeth, but I wanted to
to pass it with distinction. And as I said earlier, by that time, I'd grown and developed, not necessarily academically, but I felt that I still had resources that I could draw upon that would help me. Because in my career, I'd progressed from uh, a trainee on a, a YTS scheme, which only some of the people watching this video will know what that is. And I'd gone sort of through the operational ranks, if you like, to management level. And in that time, I developed some, you know, organisational skills. And I'd also learned uh, quite a lot about goal setting and self-discipline through my physical training endeavours. So I felt like I, even though I didn't do that well academically in school, I felt like I stood a good chance of doing okay with this NEBOSH certificate. So what I did is I applied myself in the classroom sessions, but more importantly, I feel, is that I applied myself um, in my own time. And that involved a lot of learning how to learn, if that makes sense. So were the exams hard? Did I find the exams hard? Well, no, I didn't. Uh, the only issue I had was a little bit of cramp in my writing hand. But was properly preparing for the exams hard? And I've got to be honest, the answer to that is yes. I found it hard, I found it challenging because I really had to tap into those resources that I've just mentioned to make myself sit down and learn the content and also learn about exam technique. And I had to do it consistently and repeatedly because as I've already alluded to, academic type stuff wasn't really my thing. The frustrations that I had to deal with were probably the same as some of the frustrations that uh, you're going to come up against when you do this course. It was things like the sheer amount of uh, the sheer volume of information that you need to learn. The technicalities of some of that content and the unfamiliarity of some of the language. Learning the command words was frustrating. The command words, by the way, are no longer used by Nibosh. The way that the exam questions are worded, having my mind go completely blank when attempting to answer a practice exam question or writing out a full side of A4 while, uh, in answer to a practice exam question and then realising after having done all of that that I'd actually misread the question and I wouldn't gain any points. And then there's the temptation of wanting to do things like relax on the sofa and watch TV when really I know that I should be sitting down and uh, revising and studying. But that was my choice. I could either choose the hard of preparing properly for the exams or I could choose the hard of not being able to deliver that training course for my new business. So that's what I want you to think about because it's not a choice between hard or easy because there is no easy. It's a choice between different types of hard. So you need to choose your hard. For example, do you want the hard of proper preparation and all that that entails? Or do you want the hard of repeatedly getting knocked back on job applications? Do you want the hard of giving up some of your free time for a while? Or do you want the hard of lower wages because you can't get the job the next level up? Do you want the hard of doing what you need to do to achieve this qualification? Because in answer to the question in the title of the video, yes, in my opinion, it is hard. Or do you want the hard of the regret that you'll feel knowing that you didn't do your best? So 
think carefully about these types of question and if you do decide to go for it remember that either the preparation will and should be hard but the exams will be easy or the preparation will be easy but then the exams will be hard. Good luck. I hope you've got some value out of the video that you've just seen. If so, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you can be alerted to when we produce and upload more videos.